So, it's my mum's 80th birthday. We're at a wolf pub here at the Shipley, and um, guess who's here? With Kenny Ibbett, Willie Carr, and Tim Nash at the book signing. And uh, me, Dazzling Dave, and my dad, Magic Mark, we've just bought uh, Kenny's book, and um, it's absolutely delighted to meet you, Dad used to take me as a boy to watch Kenny and Willie when I used to sit on the side for the, in the old ground and um, it's, it's an absolute pleasure to meet you in person. So I just thought as they're here and to encourage people to go out and uh, get the book because it is a chunky book and it makes like a fantastic Christmas present for any Wolves fan is to ask you a few questions if that's okay. So, start with Kenny, um, and could you tell me where you got the idea for the book and how it was that Tim ended up helping you write it? Well, about uh, five years ago, um, I decided to write a book, although I was asked to do it in 1990. Uh, it wasn't the right time to do it, but five years ago I was approached again, and I decided to do it because of my grandchildren. Fantastic. Uh, and because, your legacy and stuff Absolutely, because like I, I didn't know anything really about my own grandfathers and I didn't want my grandchildren not to know anything about their grandfathers and their grandchildren so their great grandchildren yeah, they'll, they'll know a little bit more about them and how is, was it that Tim became uh, well I was asked uh, by Chris Smith uh, I would say a few years ago and uh, unfortunately Chris developed uh, an illness and uh, Tim came along and said he would finish the job off for him so I agreed with him and together with my wife, Tim, myself, um, we put this book together and um, I'm quite proud of the way it's been. Really, really nice book as well. So, uh, and Willie, so like obviously you're another Wolves legend and um, you played together for many, many years. Yeah. Have you got um, an interesting story or a, something from your own perspective you can tell about Kenny? Uh, the Football wise. Uh, anyone? <laughs> anyone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got a lot to say. No. Um, well, we used to, night before a game, yeah. right, we used to get um, a couple of cans of beer. Yeah. We used to bring them over in our bags. <laughs> and uh, then once we get in the room, all you could hear from our room was. Uh, so we used to have a little drink the night before a game, but it was only a pint, really. You can't do that now, can you? It was to help us sleep with it. Yeah, of course it was. We had Midget Gems as well, which was great. And chocolate. Piece. And Kenny, can you remember the, the first time that you met Willie? Can you remember, remember me, the first time I was on the pitch when he played for Coventry? Oh, right, to Coventry, because he was in opposition, yeah? Exactly, and um, I knew he was um, a great player. Yeah. And a great international player as well. Yeah. And when we first tried to sign him, I was absolutely thrilled that, that Bill Gary was trying to buy a top-class midfield player. Fantastic. Unfortunately, he broke down, but eventually we got him, and we yeah. got him to a real yeah. bargain price. Keep it half the price. And he's been Keep an, it half the price. He was a, an absolute asset to us, and it was a pleasure playing with him. And I shared room with him for seven years, yeah. and um, we've become really good friends, friends family-wise as well. So that's lovely. And, that is, and isn't it? Don't, we're both in the 67, 68, and um, and we're still. Friends. And all these years later, you're still friends. And you both go to the Bulbers game tomorrow, I believe. Yeah, we are. Tim, obviously, uh, everyone knows you on Twitter. You always get a lot of the insights as well. Work for the Express and Star. Um, really in touch with the club and stuff like that. I bet it's quite an honour for you uh, to get involved with this project. And yeah, absolutely. It was uh, when I first when I got the call from uh, Chris to say, that's in the day after I left the, the, the Star. Uh, just over two years ago, and one um, uh, of the first calls I got was, was Chris Smith saying, um, "As you fancy making yourself a few bob?" That was the exact yeah. words, and I said, "Doing what?" I was, doing the, I was going to be serving behind the bar somewhere, or what? And he said, uh, uh, "Doing Kenny's book." And uh, I said, "Yeah, yeah, I'd be honoured, uh, privileged to, to do it." And uh, so I met Kenny out on the golf course at a, a former Wolves uh, players golf, golf Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, out at uh, Asbury Hall near Chris North. Um, Kenny didn't know that, that <laughs> Chris had handed it over to, to me at the time, but um, uh, was, was happy to, to see, I think, the, the project uh, come to fruition and um, we've worked really hard on it over probably about 18, 19 months. And, um, 
finally got it all signed off and uh, back from the printers in July. So it's, it's now been on the um, in the shops and on the shelves for five months, and um, we're, we're really pleased with it. You know, it looks it's a quality uh, book. Yeah, I have to it, say. it looks it a It looks it looks a good. Um, and and it's a really, really nice. It's really, really good. Good. Some good insights as well in there. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to, my, my wife actually. Uh, she had the, she named the title. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she named she picked the picture. Yeah. It's a cracking picture. And here, that she is. Like, captures you in an essay. That's what she said. Yeah. And, it, and it also she picked the most expensive paper. No, I'm just looking at the So just just for finish. <laughs> 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 obviously, my dad introduced me to to walls when I was a kid, and my dad picked me in a bit of a YouTube legend, although he doesn't really know what it is. He gets stopped at the back of himself. Dad, if you kind of remember like one of your iconic games or watching them, Willie and Kenny. And Willie Cody, the Always left it out there, 100%. And I think that's one of the essences as a Wolves Fan. Even in today's uh, team where Wolves is hopefully going back to the great days of your era, is Wolves fans, as long as the players on the pitch always give that 100% of effort in, we can forgive everything. And, um, you know, and I think that's what this, hopefully this team can do. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, the biggest compliment I can give to him is that to me, he's like the, the modern day Frankie Lampard. There you go, the modern day Frank Frankel, and that's Talk really good. Cool. Well, you, well, you did that, you <laughs> did that <laughs> fair bit, didn't you, back in the day? Uh, well, of course. I mean, it's, uh, it's just one of them things that happens. That's fantastic. Well, thank you so much. Uh, it's been an absolute welcome. pleasure to meet you. Thank all. you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.